Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an unboxing of the Doll 133 pencil sharpener. And we are not only going to unbox this pencil sharpener, we are going to look at it together. I've not opened it yet. I've not even looked at it. I've not tried it out. So I wanted to be able to unbox this on camera and share it with all of you because I just recently did a video a couple days ago where I did several different popular pencil sharpeners with four pretty popular pencils that are used by a lot of us colorists. And I did a testing with all the different pencil sharpeners, showed you how they perform and everything so that you can make your own decision as to which pencil sharpener you think would be best for you dependent upon which pencils you own. So when I did that video, this pencil sharpener was left out. So we are going to discuss this pencil sharpener today and that's why I'm doing this completely separate video. If you enjoy watching videos like these on YouTube, please make sure that you do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so that you always get notified when I upload a new video. If you like this video, please also make sure that you click the little thumbs up button down there below the video so that YouTube knows what kind of content you enjoy watching and it will also help my channel out a lot because it will tell YouTube to continue to recommend my videos, which I really appreciate. So let's go ahead and get into this video. So today we are going to talk about this pencil sharpener and I have a funny story for you. I had this pencil sharpener was supposed to be featured in my previous video that I uploaded a couple days ago. The reason that it was not is because Amazon delivered the pencil sharpener to me for that video and I received it and my son brought it to me and opened it up because he was so excited to just open it up and see what it was. He took it out of the box and wanted to try it out so he set it on my desk and pencil sharpener shavings went everywhere all over my desk so short part of the story is that I got a used pencil sharpener from Amazon and so I had to send it back of course Amazon's customer service is fantastic and I understand that mistakes happen but I had to wait for the pencil sharpener and hopefully reorder it and get a new one <laughs> so Let's go ahead and unbox this. So many people were asking to see this pencil sharpener. And it was supposed to be the highlight of my last video. And so I was kind of disappointed when that happened, but I wanted to be able to get the video out because so many people ask which pencil sharpener is best, which pencil sharpener is best, and it's like one of the main topics in coloring groups on Facebook. And so I thought that that video would really help out a lot of people, and I think that it did. So when I do my review videos, I will always tell you which one is my favorite but not necessarily which one is my favorite. Like when it comes to a pencil sharpener, it really depends upon which pencil I'm using, like I showed you in my last video. And that's why I tested those pencil sharpeners out on several different pencils. Of course, we all love to have a pencil sharpener. That is just one pencil sharpener that works great with absolutely everything. But some of these pencil sharpeners are so cheap, and I feel like it's not that big of a deal for me to just leave a few different ones laying around because you know when you're coloring you just want something laying right there so if your lead breaks you want to be able to sharpen your pencil or if you are getting a dull lead and you need your lead to be sharpened you just want your pencil sharpeners at you know within a close distance so that you could just sharpen your pencil and continue coloring your page so Here's how it comes. It looks a lot like the um, the Super Point, the Derwin uh, Super Point. It has the same type of blade in it. So if we look here, you will see that it's got the same type of um, blade, the helical blade that you would find in 
um, the Derwent Super Point that I showed you all in the last video, but I don't think that I opened up to show you the blade in the last video but this is what it looks like and these are supposed to be the best ones for colored pencils and it says right on the package it'll tell you right there great for colored pencils and it also says on the package that it is a I'm trying to find it here it says there that it's got a, um, it's two sharpeners in one and it accepts both regular and oversized artist pencils. So you could put different sized pencils into here and it should be fine. So it's got this helical blade. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I hope I am. But that's what it looks like. And these are really convenient because if you get a lead or something caught in there, you usually can just do a couple taps like this on a cutting mat or whatever. I wouldn't try to do this on your desktop, but you could usually do that and the lead will come out and then it will sharpen again. But they're very easy to open up and then put back together. And I believe the difference in this one and my Derwent is this one is much better made, but it's the same type of sharpener, but look at that, I got leads or pencil shavings everywhere, but this one is all plastic, but this one is a really good deal. This one's much going to be much cheaper and much more affordable, and we're going to see right now if it does the same thing. It has the um, same container here where your pencil shavings go. The difference between this one and the Derwent Super Point is probably the point that it's going to make on your pencil as well as this one has a bigger container for you to put your um, pencil shavings in. If I put them next to each other, you guys can see. But this one leaves you a lot more space than this one does. And this is a smaller sharpener. Maybe I should have done a comparison between the two pencil sharpeners, but I could kind of tell you a little bit. You could see how the Derwent performs in my other video which I will have linked up here in the right hand corner and also in the description below. In that video you'll also be able to see several different pencil sharpeners being tested out. This one also comes with the clamp as does the Derwent Super Point and I believe that this one is going to give us a much different lead than the Derwent Super Point. The other one gives a very sharp sharp point and some people like that and some people really don't care for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and try out this pencil sharpener. We are going to first try it on a Caran d'Ache Pablo pencil. And this pencil sharpener works very similarly to the Derwent Super Point pencil sharpener. This one does not give you different um, leads or different points. This one has a little adjuster right here, if you could see this. And it looks like it could give you a more blunt point on your pencil and then it could give you a sharper point on your pencil. So let's see what it does. So we're gonna push this in here and we're gonna pull this out. We're gonna put our Caran d'Ache Pablo pencil in there. And we are just going to turn it like this. And I think that it's done. Oh wow. I really like that, look at that. Now let's see what happens if we, let me see where I have it turned. I have that turned all the way to the pointier side. So let's turn it now to the more blunter side and see what kind of lead we get. This is a Prismacolor that has never been sharpened yet. I think it's been used. This one came from my kids, so. They're not like me where they got to sharpen everything prior to using it. So let's go ahead and put our Prismacolor in here. And let's make sure we're on. Okay, so now we're all the way to the blunter point. And you guys could hear it working. So it did its job, it's done, and that would be a blunter point, I would guess. And let's, that's not a point that I'm going to use. Let's try, um, 
I mean, I don't know, unless you are burnishing or something with your white pencil, that's not a lead that you would want to keep on your colored pencils if you were coloring a coloring page, at least not for me. Let's turn it halfway. Let me go all the way to, okay, and then we'll go back halfway. Okay, so now we know that we're about halfway. Let's pull it back out. Put the Prismacolor back in here. And then, see, I like this. I like that lead. That's probably the setting that I would keep it on for all my pencils. My goodness, I might even, so far, like this one better than my Derwent Super Point because if you guys watched my last video, you will see that my Derwent Super Point, when I was putting my pencil, my pencils in there, my Prismacolors specifically, it was ruining my Prismacolors and putting all of these indentions on my pencils. And that does not make me happy because I really love my pencils. I pay a lot of money for my pencils. And I just want them to look nice. So I don't like that it was literally grinding into the wood up here because what's going to happen when I get down to here and I still want to be using my pencil and the wood is already grinded into up here. I don't know what that is going to do to the barrel that is actually protecting the lead inside the pencil. So I really don't like that and I won't use my Derwent Super Point on my Prismacolors anymore because of that. So this is a good alternative Let's try it even on the sharper one and see. I'm going to go all the way to the end now with my Prismacolor. I'm going to pull this out. Put my pencil in. And this one with the Prismacolors, does it stop when it's there? Maybe not on that lead. I don't want to sharpen away my whole entire pencil, but... I stopped it on its own. I don't know that it would go sharper. I don't want to grind away my entire pencil, but um, that is the lead that it's going to give us on that setting, which I really like that. Because the super point, like the lead, is literally, I don't know, it's just really long. You would see much more wood here, and it grinds away a lot more of the pencil. It works really great for my Pablo pencils, but I won't put my Prisma colors in there anymore. So let's move on to the next one. Let's go ahead and try a Faber-Castell um, Polychromos. And this is one that's never been sharpened before, so you could see what it looks like now. And I'm going to pull it out. Here, let's, do you all want to try, let's try a different setting. Let's go all the way to the blunt setting first. Okay, so we're all the way on the blunt setting, and I really don't know who'd want to use a pencil like this, but I'm doing it just for demonstration purposes, so you guys can see we may get a different point from the Pablo pencil, since it's an oil-based pencil and it's harder. We may get a different type of point with this one than we did with the Prismacolor, so let's see what it does. And it feels like it's already done. Yeah, that's all it's, so that's the lead that you get with the blunt one. And I will most likely never use it on that setting. Let's go halfway. Okay, so I think that's about halfway. Let's pull it out. And I love how it just automatically clicks into place and puts the pencil just where it needs to be before it starts sharpening. And you could hear that it kind of stopped. You could tell when it's really sharpening the pencil, and then you could hear when it stops. So when it stops, that's when it's time to pull it out and it's done. So that is what that lead looks like. This, wor this has worked really well on all the pencils so far. Let's go ahead and go all the way see I just put it all the way to where the little picture of the pointier lead is and we are gonna pull it back out 
put our pencil back in and let's see what this one does so I think that's done but that is a even pointier so I really like that I'll probably just leave it on the sharpest setting because this is the kind of lead I prefer I know some of you probably prefer different types of lead but this is a great pencil sharpener if you want to be able to change the settings because I mean this goes really there's a very broad um, broad array of settings from the from the most blunt all the way to here if I turn this look how many times I'm turning this and I just keep going till it goes all the way to the other side and then I go all the way back and it's like five turns so there's a, several different settings I would assume on this pencil sharpener so we're gonna do the Black Widow now and we're gonna start with the most blunt setting and I could hear it working and then I could hear it kind of stop did you all hear that so this is what it looks like with the Black Widow and that's our blunt tip now let's do like we did with the others and we're gonna go halfway I did like two and a half turns because I figure it's like five turns for me to go all the way from one end to the other so this is two and a half turns of that little knob okay so oh I love this pencil sharpener so you could hear it grinding away and then you could hear it stop and then so this is my final point on that setting and you could tell I don't know if you could see the tip of this or how closely my camera is focusing I think it's kinda of going out of focus but you could see that the point is not pointy pointy and it was done sharpening so the lead is not pointy 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 so when you lay it back on your uh, coloring page it's not going to automatically break on you like the super point that will give you a really sharp sharp point to where if you push too hard with your pencil the point just flips off of the tip and breaks so let's try the sharpest one now it automatically clicked into place if y'all could see what it did and we could hear it grinding and now it just kind of stopped and now we have a much pointier and a longer lead uh oh I think I found a new pencil sharpener guys that I love the most it worked on every single pencil so it worked on the Pablo really really well and here is the lead on the um, Faber-Castell Polychromos and our Black Widow and look at the Prismacolor I bet you this is another pencil sharpener that will really save some of my Prismas that were just crumbling away but let me hold all the different leads up next to one another so that you guys can see but these are the final leads on each one of the pencils and I really think that it did a fabulous job I don't know what do y'all think let me know down in the comments what you guys think and what your favorite pencil sharpener is but I don't know if I showed you all this this one does come with a clamp so that you can clamp it to your desk very similar to the Derwent Super Point as well. Now, if I, if you guys, if you guys want me to do a video where I compare the Derwent Super Point to this pencil sharpener and we put them side by side in one video, please let me know in the comments if you would like to see that video. I hope you all really liked this video, and if you did, please make sure that you click the little thumbs up button and like it and also make sure that you subscribe to my channel and don't just subscribe but turn on your bell notification so that you get notified every single time I post a video and not just 
a random few. So I really appreciate all of you being here and taking the time out to watch my videos. I hope they've been really helpful, and I hope you have a great day. Happy coloring. Bye.